What up, lads? Back at the desk. Just got back from the hobby shop, getting some supplies and uh, found a couple of kits. Thought I'd share them with you. Supplies are just really paint. More gloss black for the Imperial. Just a couple of bottles of regular enamel, and I had to get some lacquer thinner. I got a couple of bottles of lacquer paint somehow. I don't know how, but I uh, used them the other day. And when I went to clean the brush, I'm like, "Why? Why won't this take this up?" And uh, looked at the bottle and went, "Oh, it's lacquer. That's why." So, but anyway, got a couple of kits. So I'm gonna build Mindless Model Works. Kenny is doing a Halloween build. So I got in on that, and this is my, uh, my saber-tooth rabbit. We're going to give that a go. That's my, uh, that's going to be my Halloween build. So, got a pretty cool kit. Got a real, uh, real piece of chain in it. I'm not going to do a, a, an unboxing, but, uh, we got that. And then I picked up, uh, I picked up a Corsair. That's for uh, Solomon, for a wife after work. I'm gonna dedicate this one to him. It's supposed to be a good kit, the Ravel. So we'll, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the uh, the Navy version. You can do the Marine version or the Navy version. We'll see, we'll see, that's around the corner. We'll do that. And I found a couple of old kits. I'm a glutton for punishment, boys. I'm a glutton for punishment. <coughs> the first one I found, Ed Roth, road agent. Uh, you get the, uh, you get the rat. Comes with the rat and the figure. You get the rat drink. And I guess that that's uh, Big Daddy Ed Roth. But uh, I found that this kit is from 1997. So I snagged it. Had to get it. But then I found this. And yes, you will probably say to yourself, but Charlie, the last time you found one of these, you got screwed. But, I had to get it. This is from 1966. Almost as old as the Imperial. The Imperial was from 65. This is from 66. I think I will do a separate unboxing of this. In another video later on, but I had to, I had to pick it up. It was sitting there calling my name. Um, it's a Mercedes Cabriolet. There it is. I don't know if it'll come up. 1966 monogram. Uh, I think I'll do an unboxing of that in, a, in its own video. But, uh, yeah. Every time I go there, you know, you gotta grab something. Um, but one thing I just wanted to mention. I got a couple of, uh, I comment. I try to comment on, on everybody. Everybody that leaves a comment, I try to answer you. I try to give people, you know, answer people back. Um, sometimes I might miss somebody, I, you know, that's not intentional, um, but uh, I'm, I like to joke around, I like to have fun, so, you know, some guys have, have say, I don't know, I guess take, they take me the wrong way or whatever, but uh, I've said, commented back on a few things, and you know, all of a sudden people are apologizing to me, you know, I, you know guys, I, I don't take anything seriously, when, when I'm serious, you'll know it. 
So if I comment or say something back, it's all meant in fun. I don't mean anything, nothing serious. It's all in fun, guys. It's all in fun. So, you know, nobody has to apologize to me for anything. Uh, like I said, if I said something to you and you took it the wrong way, then I apologize. That's the, that's the problem with typing the words. You can't tell what people's... You, there are no inflection in, in typing. You know what I mean? You can't tell if somebody's serious. Or, you can say one thing five different ways, you know what I mean? And everybody takes it the wrong way, but... You know what I mean? I, if I offended anybody, I apologize, but, you know, I like to joke around. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll give you a stupid answer or something. Don't, you know what I mean? Don't don't take it personally. It's, nothing's meant personally, and nobody ever has to apologize to me for ever, anything. You know what I mean? So, but, other than that, we started out with rain. Now the sun's out. The biscuits is up by her perch. Watching the chipmunks. She almost went through the friggin' thing the other day. I don't know what the hell was out there, but I, I hear this noise and I look up and she's halfway up the screen. And I'm like, oh my god. So, yeah, yeah, we're talking about you. She knows. She knows. But other than that. Here I am, like I said, I think I'll do an unboxing on that, uh, on the Mercedes after I get off of this, so. Alright guys, that was it. Something old, something new at the hobby shop. Peace out, boys. Peace out.